Hey, hey, hey guys, this is Hawkeye, and I am back with another episode of Fishing Planet. And we are back here in the Evergate Glades for a little bit of revenge, a little retribution here, guys. Now, a long time ago, in episode 59, I attempted to catch the unique largemouth bass. Well, we're going after him again this time, guys, and this time we're going to get him. This time we have better gear, and we've got some secret weapons here. This crankbait here, the green crankbait you see, the 6 ot they can't resist them. The 8 foot. Now, the blue is also good, but though I like the green a little bit better. And the other lure that I really like is the spinner bait. You can use the three quarter ounce or the one ounce, but I think the one ounce would probably be a little bit better for the size of the fish we're after. Go ahead and get the white one since it'll show up better in the early morning. Let me go ahead and show you. I'm using my Farcaster 7 foot by 7 inch, my Cyclone 6500, and Floor Point 014 line. And this one, the River Tech Cell Monster, the Redfish. 5500 and I'm using 0.44 line on this so anyway guys we are going to go back to the map here sorry about bumping that and now let's take a look at the fish species here there are only two uniques here one that happens to be the butterfly peacock I'll be darned Florida Gar has a unique too and the largemouth bass Bowfin has a unique as well, but it's just strikes me as odd as they added the Florida Gar. That's pretty cool. I didn't know that. That's new. Anyway, we're going to the Lily Pad channel, guys. And we're gonna have a private channel here. Go ahead and walk out here. Now the area we're going to be casting is primarily in this general vicinity. Now you can just cast in different locations. I like to try behind this turned over boat. Catch a lot of trophies from there. But the uniques, it's just a matter of timing and time of day. But there we go, there's our first bite. They could be anywhere in that vicinity. Okay, this is a first largemouth bass, 3.693 pounds. Not too bad. We'll try this again. Okay, we're gonna cast it out here this time. Did gay thing after a few casts there. Now you can cast line this heavy past those reeds. You might get a snag, but you're not gonna lose your lure. I've done this enough times to know. In fact, sometimes you don't even get snags. I think there's like a little channel of water in between there. Usually if they're going to strike, they usually do around 80 feet. Well, 180 feet, but it was close. Okay, this one's good size. This one's giving me a bit of a fight here. Put tension up a little bit more than I had it. Got to be careful, though. Don't put up too much or you break your line. There's a trophy. 774 cash, 7.336 pounds. Nice fish. Very nice fish. And you'll get a lot of trophies out of this. But I know there's got to be a unique here, guys. I mean, it has been so long. Alright. If you ever get a chance, check out episode 59. I caught a but ton of trophies. Whoa, there we go. Alright. I think we might have us at least another trophy. I don't know. Good God. This might be him, guys. This might be him. 
With this kind of line, this rod, he shouldn't be pulling that hard. There he is, guys. There he is. Finally. I caught you, you bugger. Here's the monster, guys. Here's the guy that can eat baby crocodiles. Well, actually, alligators will throw crocodiles in. Except for the American crocodile. And the... But never mind, let's get beyond the point. <laughs> anyway, yeah, this is him. This is him, guys. 1197 cash, 11 point. Is that 282 pounds? That's definitely my record. That is awesome. That is so awesome. Now let's see if we can't get something else out of here. I don't think I'm going to get any more uniques, but I think what I'm going to go ahead and do is I'm going to fish until it's about 6 a.m. in game time. Got me another one here. I th this looks like it's probably a common one, but we'll get him in. Then we're gonna switch over to that other lure because I've already been fishing for about half an hour with this lure. Yeah, 351 cash, 3.397 pounds. Right out there again. Yeah, it was so good to get that unique. That has been such a long time coming, guys. I've had a lot of people say, when are you going to do the unique thing? And it's just, there was just things constantly coming up with, you know, other new maps being added, the update. I mean, I was in Alaska for quite some time and just never got around to it, honestly. But I came back and I got my revenge. <laughs> there we go. Yeah, this uh, this place is pretty hot in the morning, I tell you. You fish from about 5 a.m. on a partly cloudy day, you see? Another trophy. 736 cash, 6.984 pounds. Yeah, you fish for about four hours in the morning, about four hours in the evening on partly cloudy days, you're gonna you're gonna more than make your money back. Yeah, I've heard the best some of the best cash making maps happen to be the Naharan River and this one right here. Because you get a lot of cash for the bass and a lot of cash for the peacock bass too, which are actually pretty easy to catch. But for this lure we're gonna be using a stop and go. Except that was a snag. <laughs> there we go. Yeah, see, they go for this one, too. But, like I said, you gotta use the stop and go. I've tried lift and drop, but just don't seem to get them with that. So, Let's see what we got here. I think it's just a common one. No, it's another trophy. 6.13, I'll be darned. And guys, it's about time. Well, that was pretty awesome, guys. I think we did really well. Let's see what we've got in our fish basket for one hour's worth of work here. Yep. Looks like we got about nine fish. We got three trophies, one unique, and a peacock. Not bad. Not bad for a day's work. Anyway, guys, I hope you enjoyed that episode, so please be sure to share, comment, like, and subscribe, and I will be back with another episode of Fishing Planet, and I guess we'll be moving on to a different lake now. Anyway, I will see you next time. Bye-bye. <laughs>